Yeah, and it takes time. So just you know, be I'm patient with to. yourself. This isn't this is a it's new. It's not gonna happen quick. This is a new skill that we're learning. But I like the idea of listening to the note. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. Before I'm, it's something I something you do can anything. do. So, again, I'm going to just go through the notes. Just at the first time, just say la. Okay. So you're going to go play the note. La. And then you play the next note. Listen and then match. La. La, la, just like that for the whole thing. Really, what you're you're learning to do is sing the notes in the melody, which there's only you know it's these notes. You got you got to learn F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, and E. Oh, that's not a problem. I know. And not not this E. We're gonna you can practice this E. See if you can hit the. That one you really have to just relax. But again, this is the very bottom of your range, so um, just do that. And then when you get more comfortable with that, um, maybe like the second, you know, the second or third time you go through it, uh, try the syllables. Um, so in other words, in the in the first line, if I play G sharp, the G sharp goes with well. So you can go, well, because the different shapes you make with your mouth can affect the pitch a little bit. Um, so you have to learn how to deal with that. And then the second word, I, is a B. I tried to And again, this is really painstaking. You're going through very okay. fine tooth comb and stuff. But when you when you go to just, you can just sing it normally too. Like sing how you want to sing it. Right. Just, but just do both, you know, because like one is, it's not really a substitute. This, what this does, is it it uh, reinforces when you go to sing it. Because you're not, it's it's just like note reading and things like that. You don't want to be thinking about the notes so hard when you're singing. You, know? you just want to, well, I tried to make it Sunday, but I got so damn depressed. Basically, what you're doing is you're teaching your body where the vocal cords need to be at each syllable. And it becomes part of your mus muscle memory, just like when you learn to play A major to A sharp, I mean, A flat minor, or whatever your thing is, and you're not even thinking about it. Well, I try, I have to think about it here, but, well, I tried to make it Sunday, but I got so damn depressed, you know, got so damn depressed. You start, uh, got so If you practice tuning yourself all the time, got so damn depressed. It's never going to be perfect. People are, are they expect perfection now because we have all these computer programs that make our voices sound like synthesizers. I use them all the time. They're great. But it's not what it actually, your voice, a really well-trained singer, is going to be a little bit off. And that's part of being a human. That's what it is. Somebody who's not a well-trained singer like me is going to be a little more off <laughs> with the tuning. But the main thing is that you're in the ballpark. Because uh, right. it's not it's not going to offend your ears so much if you're in the ballpark. And that's all we're really going for anyway. We're not getting up on stage. All right, I'm going to go practice. Okay. Thank you.